Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm gonna be the show 19. So we have a new set 20 headliner packs and the headliners We have a 97 signature series David Price has 111 stamina 90 hit per 9 101 K per 9 93 walk per 9 84 home run per 9 got a 97 2 seam 97 4 seam 82 changeup, 93 cutter and a 77 knuckle curve Actually that pitch repertoire is not bad and the high velocity with 97 he could, he could actually be pretty nice and his per nines are pretty good also so 97 david price and then we have 97 luis aparicio has 88 contact versus righties 106 versus lefties 54 power versus righties and 64 versus lefties 125 vision got 97 fielding 99 speed i like i, I actually really like this card i'm not gonna lie 99 speed 125 vision contact numbers are great got the diamond tier defense the only thing is power numbers are low, but I actually think this card is going to be really good. I really do. So definitely one that we want to test out. So we did buy five of these. See if we pull any. You know, that would be pretty nice if we could actually hit on a headliners pack. First one, silver. We got Kniebel. What else is new? You know, we always get in silvers. Another silver, John Lester. Okay, three more of these. There's still 5K in the pack store. We got a gold right there and another silver. So Josh Bell. Guess that's not bad and pagan you know silvers are silvers at least we got a gold i guess another silver we get perez just give me that last silver already you know we already know it's gonna be a silver yup <laughs> evan longoria so we didn't we didn't get nothing out of that pack i actually want to see what they're going for right now in the market just because we might need those guys for Hannes wagner so they were 97 overalls to be down here somewhere I passed it, didn't I? So, Aparicio's 24K. Actually, that's pretty good. You know, that's a good price right there. 65 for David Price. Wow. But I think we're going to scoop up that Aparicio. You know, definitely try him out. I think it could be a really good card because those contact numbers are good. And, you know, the rest of that card minus power is really solid. So, we're definitely going to scoop him up for 24K. I think that's pretty cheap. We do have other moments and stuff that drop. Yeah, new moments for the six inning program. I'm not going to add these up right now, but they're normally around like 30 to 50. I think these are like 30, it looks like. Just a quick skim. So that definitely helps if you're trying to get Ken Griffey Jr., Piazza, or Jackie Robinson. If you guys haven't gotten him yet already. But we'll take a look at the moments because I think there is a special reward with that moment. So we do get a 90 overall Bo Bichette. And it looks like he's sellable, too. So that, that actually is pretty nice. And, you know, Bo Bichette, definitely a future stars card that I think people would like. So we have a Dante Bichette and his son Bo Bichette moment. Tally four hits, two extra base hits. Tally three hits and a double with Hannes Wagner. Pitch three innings with Cliff Lee. Do not give up a run. Nolan Ryan strike out one batter. Pretty simple right there. Hit a home run with Ken Griffey Jr. Tally two extra base hits. Hit a home run. With your Diamond Dynasty team in a three-inning game. Tally six total bases with George Brett. Strike out one batter with Chapman. And the last one is strike out three batters. Pick up the save with Craig Kimbrell. So those are pretty simple. And you get a future stars, Bo Bichette. We'll see if we can check out his stats. But really nice reward right there. I like that they're starting to give out Diamond players with these, these moments. It definitely adds up and makes it a little bit better, I feel like. We also have new Tops Now moments for August 12 and August 18. And that also gives a diamond player. We have an 87 overall Kyle Seeger. You get 3,750 XP and 1,300 stubs. Hit a home run with Seeger. Strike out five batters with Chris Sale. Bryce Harper hit a home run. Hit another home run with Mike Yastrzemski. And then hit a home run with Pete Alonzo. This one is actually really easy. Four of them are home runs. And then strike out five batters. Like, this is probably the easiest set we've had all year. And you get that 87 Kyle Seeger. That card is also sellable like the Aquino we got last week. So, once again, I like that they're doing this. They're adding moments and diamond rewards. Now, I don't know if these are, like, all the cards or, like, you know, they're, they're releasing some weekly. And then at the end of August, they're still going to release, like, the 10 to 15 they normally do. I don't know if that's how they're going to do it. Or these are just bonus cards. But I do like that we have that. And then a Sony partner moment for Healy. 98 Billy Williams is the reward. So we have Tally and RBI 
with Healy. Then win a game with Jake Arrieta. What, what inning is this? All right, we're in the seventh inning, so that's not that bad right there. And then tally an extra base hit with Ben Zobris. Hit a home run with Billy Williams. Win a three-inning game. Win another three-inning game. And then win another three-inning game. So not bad right here. You know, these moments seem pretty, pretty simple also. And the reward is a 98 overall signature series Billy Williams. So that looks like it could be a really good card too. Let's check the market. So it looks like Bo Bichette's going to be pretty cheap. 6 to 8K. It is a free card. Has 91 contact versus righties. 97 versus lefties. 70 power versus righties. And 83 versus lefties. 75 vision. Got gold tier defense. 72 speed. So not a bad looking card. It's a diamond overall. And can play short, second, and third base. So for it being a free card, really like that. And like I was saying the other day, we really need to get some more Future Stars cards in the game. So getting Bo Bichette is definitely nice. Then the top's now one for Seager. Let's see if we can check that one out if he is here. He is here. So 72 contact versus righties, 80 versus lefties, 81 power versus righties, and 104 versus lefties, 90 vision. Got bronze tier defense, 31 speed. So, you know, it's a solid card. Nothing crazy, but good power versus lefties and good vision. And then, can we see Billy Williams? He's probably in the inventory. So, let's see if we can check out that Billy Williams card really quick and see what he's all about. I think he has I think he has good power numbers, if I'm not mistaken. So, it should be a diamond-tiered hitter and probably pretty solid overall. So, I mean, his power is all right. He has 109 contact versus righties, 110 versus lefties, 99 power versus righties, and 88 versus lefties, 122 vision. So, yeah, he is a diamond-tiered hitter, obviously. And actually, really good hitting stats. You know, these are definitely solid with that vision and contact. And the power is definitely pretty good at 88 and 99. It's not like over 100, like too overpowering, but it's definitely still good. Silver tier defense, 68 fielding and 62 speed. You can play corner outfield and first base. So not a bad card. You know, it is free. Definitely can see people using him, corner outfield, you know, maybe first base, even though there is better cards out there, but I think he's still a really good bat. And even in like Battle Royale or stuff like that, or just coming off the bench, really solid card. So that right there is the new content for the day. We have the new moments for the six inning program. That also gets you the Bo Bichette card. So that's pretty good. The two headliners in David Price and Luis Aparicio. If you guys opened up any headliners, let me know if you guys pull that diamond. Probably not because I'm, I'm literally... I haven't pulled a single headliner from the headliners pack. Or not a headliner. I, I guess it's called a headliner, right? I haven't pulled a, sig a single signature series from these he set headliner packs all year. So that's that's kind of crazy. I'm like 0 for 20 pretty much and multiply that by 5. So, man, those, those packs have definitely been rough. We got the Sony Partner moments. Billy Williams definitely looks like a solid card. New tops now. New moments. So that is the content. Let me see if there is an updated schedule so we have a general idea what's coming out next. So on the 22nd, that's today, six inning program, Healy Moments. On the 29th, signature teams reveal. So looks like they're, they're going to be moments. That's what it looks like they're going to be. So hopefully those moments and rewards are pretty good. I'm guessing because it's signature teams, the rewards are signature series cards. And we definitely want to see a good variety. At least, like, I want to see, like, 5 to 10 signature series cards drop for that. Also, on the 29th, one new signature series player reward in the 12 and 0 pack. So, I don't get why they're only adding one. You know, only one BR. They only added one for the World Series reward that just came out, you know, early in the week. I'm not, I don't really get that. Why they're only adding one right now. They must have plans, maybe, like, the signature teams or the Moments Extreme where... A lot of or a good amount of signature cards are going to be dropping then. So they're just trying to save them, I guess. I really don't know. Also on the 29th, a roster update. And then on the 29th, new events. Pennant events begin with three signature series rewards. So it's probably going to be another voucher event where you have to collect vouchers. And it looks like this time, three signature series cards are going to be the reward. So that's also pretty nice. But we're trying to get Hannes Wagner soon. So I don't know if I can wait that long. Because it's probably going to be like a whole month to get those three cards. So we'll have to see. And we just got booted right into the game. But that's pretty much going to do it for this one. If you guys got anything good, let me know what you guys got. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.